morning, everybody. Welcome to North Carolina, where the gentlemen from Detroit Speed and Engineering have invited me out to drive a few of their cars. Uh, this is Andy Stapp, and thank you for joining me in My this pleasure. car. Uh, you are, you got an interesting story yourself, and this car is... People are watching going, why are you going to film this car? Guys exactly. at Detroit Speed are like, why do you want to film this car? But I want to film this car. It's an 84 Monte Carlo stock drivetrain, but your full suspension and brake kit. So tell me what's going on with this thing. It's 84 G body SS, Monte Carlo SS. It was the first year Chevrolet made the Monte Carlo SS's. You had two options this year. You get a white one or a blue one. <laughs> Either way, they came with a blue interior. <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of straight across the board. But um, we developed suspension components for a full variety of different cars. This is just one, this is a popular platform. It's a good chassis to go off of. They're fun cars. It's a metric suspension car. Uh, one of the early ones through the 80s. Mm -hmm. And it was just a great opportunity to uh, put a suspension package together for it. This thing will handle like a roller skate. Let's Luckily, find she's out. down on horsepower. It's so a 305, it right? Yeah, original a little stock 305 with an automatic. It's a, th it's a three speed auto, right? I believe uh, it's a three speed auto. I yeah, think it is. that could be. I, I had it in two before, and I only, and then I put it up to D, and it only went up one gear. There you have <laughs> so it. So here we go. Yeah. So it's 81,000 original miles in this car. It's actually really, really clean. There's a couple nicks and scratches on the outside, but overall, very clean car. And uh, unbelievable, it, it, it drives really, really good. It's got actually handling. So what what does your suspension kit do for this car? Corrects the steering geometry, corrects the front suspension and rear suspension geometry. It has swivel links in a rear, quadra link rear setup. It has our lower control arms and upper control arms and a TSC tuned shock package for the front. You can lay this thing off into a corner. It won't have enough horsepower to get you out of trouble, but it will roll a corner and get you right into trouble in no trouble in no time <laughs> at all. But it, it handles so well, that it'll just it'll roll around things and just surprise the heck out of you how much grip the car has. This, this is kind of like the, the shop car. It gets passed around from employee to employee, and you use it for test fitting of components and stuff. But and, and we're in North Carolina, so this is what roads look like here. So exactly. I don't have my I don't have Mulholland to play on, but but so far the ride quality is really good. It, it rides just beautifully, and it actually, it has actual steering feel. Yes. Which is not something I would expect. We have changed steering box on this. We have DSC tuned st manuals or power steering boxes for these cars. We run a rack in most of our newer components, but with with this style car, the steering box was a normal. And all we've done is just with our DSC tuned box, it takes a play out of it. It changes the valving on it. The ratios sped up a little bit. Uh -huh. So it's all the way things the way General Motors should have made them in the first place. So is this you know? The Monte Carlo is the, the probably the one of the lesser appreciated of the G bodies. Like, but can all this stuff fit a Grand National? Yes. That, see, yes. that's really where it's at, right? Well, you, no. Down here, we're in the South. We're in the South. Grand Monte National Carlo SS is here. where the deal. All them good old NASCAR boys right. around Monte see, Carlo SS. Look at that. I mean, not a yeah. not a big corner, but it stays. It actually stays really flat all the time. And you did a 17 inch wheel that's like the look of the original, but bigger. Which exactly. I like. Exactly. BF Goodrich it tires. In. It turns in good. Our BF Goodrich rubber always gets you good grip on the ground. Yeah, this and has comp twos on it. I think, yes, it right? does. Yeah, yeah. it's a good tire. Yeah. We're always uh, we're always well connected with our BF Goodrich tires. Sponsor. And they're sponsored. They're sponsored. They're sponsored. Exactly. Sponsored. They take good care That's of us. They do. Let's go down. Second but, uh, gear. Oh yes. I'm gonna go through this this corner on power. Look at that. The part we were talking about being in North Carolina. Yeah. Daryl Waltrip and Dale Earnhardt both became famous in this car. Right Monte Carlos, that's good. Exactly, deal. deal. Th these bodies, like, they, they're starting to get cool again. I oh, feel yeah. like I feel like they're past minimum cool and they're on their way back up. They're climbing. And actually, th with this car, it, it's a really good cruiser. Like, it, it, it rides really well. It doesn't feel like it's 25 years old. I mean, it kind of does, <laughs> but it's not like a total, like, rattly piece of crap. It's actually... A nice driving car. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna post up for a minute and let this traffic clear out because I don't want to sit behind an explorer. No way. Not 
in a Monte Carlo. Not when we're having fun. No, right? we need to go four wide in a Monte Carlo. Exactly <laughs> right. Grill this baby off in the corner at Daytona. We'll be back in one second. How much, how much power does the 305 make? It's about <laughs> 220, maybe? Maybe, 200. Two, maybe 220 when it was new and fresh. Yeah, and there's a carbureted yeah. 305. Yeah. For 81,000 miles, she might be rung out a little bit. But again, not bad. No. Really not bad. I, we, I, I, man, the, the attitude, the shape of this car has an attitude about it that yes. I really love. We've corrected the stance. Yeah. Dropped it down. This is Oop. a stop. Stop. This is not a stop. That is not a stop. Nope. Used to be a stop sign there. Oh, was that the way back to the shop? That was the way back to the shop. We're going to have to flip around and okay. go back over there. Run this I out see to curves. The, run this out to the end. Yeah, we're All good right, here. Cool. That way you can get a little bit of curvy time. Down here in a little bit, there's a intersection at the very end of this, but we got time. I've never driven a stock one of these, but I can imagine that there is no such thing as confidence in corners in a stock one of these. You know, these cars are really, they came out fairly balanced. Yeah. I had one as a driver for quite a while, and extra wraps were a blast because you could just throw it off in there sideways and throttle up and the thing would stay with you and stay under you all the way right around here. around. We can just spin around. Oh, you're going to around? Right okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Is that a Studebaker right there? What is that? Roll up in there. Let's see. What is that? That's I've I've seen those before. I think it's a Studebaker. Is that a dog? No, I don't know roll what up, that roll is. Roll up in the driveway. They're really? friendly. Yeah. You know these guys? Yeah. Yep. These are buddies. They're friendlies. Yep. They're friendlies. What that's is a that? Dodge. It's a Dodge, right? Looks like a Dodge. Oh, that's cool. Can you? I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll move move over so you guys can see it out of the window. I go. think it's a Dodge. That's cool. All right. In, random random car spotting in this video. Being in North Carolina, if you leave that sitting there for about uh, 15, 20 years, it'll become a bush car. <laughs> the, where a, the weeds grow uh, around yeah, it? bush car because the yeah. bushes grow up through it. <laughs> Trees grow through them sometimes. And that's where that bush series came from. It's all bush cars. They drug out of the woods and made stock cars out of them. <laughs> that makes way too much sense, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everything in this car seems to work. All the gauges work. Even though I've seen the clock move. Yes. How about that? No. It, 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 well, to be honest, it's kind of cool to have one from this era that all the, all the works. stuff still works. Yeah. And performs. In second. No, no, I'm in drive. There we go. Yep. Now you're neutral. Oh, now I hit neutral. Now you're back to that. Yeah, I messed it up. <laughs> you're all right. It's okay. You're a rookie. We'll let you I'm, get by. Oh, no. <laughs> no. That wouldn't be the South if you didn't give me some crap. Exactly. We get back to the shop, we're gonna have to remember to put the yellow stripe on the back of the rest of them when you gotta go out and drive. <laughs> Listen to you. Give you that official rookie stripe. There we go. Power on. Oh, you feel that power. Oh, you really. Man, my neck is really, sore. I would say it throws you back in the seat, except that would be a lie. Absolutely. <laughs> Mama says we can't lie. But this is a this is a cool cruiser that rides well and will get around a corner well and, and it stops well Four, yes. four wheel disc brakes bare brake bear kit brake aftermarket bare brake kit on this one we put bare brakes on them on everything we have yeah um because of their excellent performance and uh it just ups the game on all of our cars but uh yeah this thing this gentleman we is have, going 18 miles an hour yeah well he's a north carolina farmer oh he's pulling he's on pulling his way to the go-kart track oh is he all right well we're gonna we're gonna uh we're gonna finish up right here because oh, well ne oh, maybe not thank you sir <laughs> the confusion, the confusion that's happening in North Carolina right now is just turned into the next one on the right. Oh, okay. It's a soccer field. We'll go in there. Perfect. Baseball and soccer field. I just wanted to to have a cruise in one of these because I've always looked at them and liked the shape of them, and I always thought they would drive terrible. This one does not drive terrible. No, this car stays underneath you. Feels really good all the time. Yeah, like if I lived in this area, I would cruise one of these things for sure. Because you guys have really like smooth roads here. Your, your tarmac quality is like really good down here, especially for mixed weather, yes. you know? And this is nice. Thank you, Andy. I, I appreciate this. Anytime. 84 Monte Carlo, Detroit Speed and Engineering. Check out uh, Detroit, DetroitSpeed.com, yeah? DetroitSpeed.com. Detroit if you have a G-Body, be it an, a Monte or a Grand National, they can make this thing. <laughs> is that your ringer? <laughs> Choo-choo. Excuse me. They can make this thing ride and handle pretty good. And uh, it's definitely above above what you would expect out of a Monte for sure. Oh, without a doubt. We're going to go back to the shop. We're going to drive. This is the intro. We're gonna now we're gonna go into some of the crazy stuff, and there is plenty of crazy stuff. So we will see you next time. Thanks, man. Stick with us. It's gonna be fun from here. <laughs>